Hello Libra, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to The Journey Home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Zodiac Tarot forecast for the week ahead or whenever you clicked on the title that the, at the time that it intrigued you. I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would like some free personal readings, do join us. I pull cards for everyone I can get to. We have three cards pop up for your message from your shamans your guides, guardians, angels, ancestors. We have the journey, the seer, and the beloved. Some of you, this is about your journey and recognizing the beloved in everyone you meet. I'm not saying to go hump everybody's leg, but I am saying that some of you are meeting a soulmate. You're about to discover a soulmate. Some of you are seeing the beauty in others, and this is part of your journey, seeing the beauty in others. The seer is also about not just the spiritual sight, the third eye being open. It's that very keen, sharp, intuitive feel to it on this journey that is guiding you to this beloved. Let's have a look at these cards. We've got three of summer, six of spring, five of summer happy news that came in recognition of who you are making smart choices you had success but there's some regret and sorrow here um but trusting there is a reason for everything that happens remove yourself libra from negative emotions of others remove yourself from those types you're going through an awakening here. You're looking at things differently. Oh, oh, the seer. Perhaps seeing the beloved within yourself as well. This awakening. This awakening is it's bringing you to the heart of this reading, which is about a new beginning that doesn't have the baggage of the past with it. Having made amazing new ideas not being deterred by challenges, moving forward, communicating clearly, accurately. Now, it may be a little stressful, this communication. There's a lot of communication open up, opening up here. Uh, maybe demands on your time, sudden events, changes. It's just a little stressful, but lots of communication. Something that's passionate. Could be communication with someone from the past here. Six of Cups. Uh, it could have to do with children. Return of people from your past. But your here's your intuition. The seer has, like I said, sharp intuition. The moon is about having that sharp intuition. Epiphanies. Insight. The seer. This is also about letting go of a fear and worry and understanding the truth of a situation. So some there's going to be a revealing here. So up here where it's advising, you know, remove yourself from negative others because of the too much focus on what is worrying you, too much focus on what frightens you. But here you're understanding the truth. Letting go of fear and worry. Could be you're helping others or you're reaching out for assistance. Maybe you're a little challenged in money issues or others are feeling challenged in money issues and you're helping them out. Perhaps this is part of the purpose that you see. The seer says, the moon says, you're going to see something. Something will be revealed. Something about your purpose. Something about the beloved. Ten of Earth. So good news coming in, worthy of celebration because of money flow. Good money flow, flow. long term commitment, partnerships, amalgamations, having it all the house, the home, the kids, the grandkids. Six of Spring is being clarified by the Six of Fire Sync card. Recognition, rewards. So why are. Oh, okay. This may be about regrets from the past, but this is definitely 
the need to stop focusing on what frightens or worries you. The need to understand that these things happen for a reason. Maybe now that's what the seer is seeing. That these things happen for a reason. Because it's bringing you into victory. Yeah. Cutting out negative people. Negative emotions. You're awakening to the fact that you've moved on from that. You've evolved from that. You're separating from what you used to be to what you are now this awakened ace of winter you're not going to be deterred you've got this new beginning you've got new ideas coming to you that are coming you're being there there's a download here spirit is downloading spirit is downloading the journey the seer and the beloved you're getting downloads. This is spiritual healing, being a bit reclusive or taking the time for yourself, whether it's for health reasons or spirit reasons or both. But you're coming up with these new ideas. Epiphanies. Now you're either saving your money or you're withdrawing from some all this communication that is stressing you out. A lot of events, changes. So you're holding on to an emotion that needs to be released. This fear, this worry needs to be cut out. King of water, person from the past. If it's, if it's a new person, it's a person that you've lived many lifetimes with because that's old, old, old man. Not necessarily a man or a woman. It's the energy. This is about deep love. Deep soulmate connection. And you're about to see who it is. Could be an earth sign. Could be a water sign. You're letting go of that fear, that worry. You're focusing on nurturing self or maybe nurturing this relationship. Looking after house, home. taking care of things, being practical, organized, making a judgment call. When someone comes to you for help, you're going to be making a judgment call. Do I help them? Someone's going to reach out to you, Libra. And it may be the wrong time. It may be the wrong time that they do reach out to you because you're going to make a judgment call. based on the download this spirit work could be when you're sleeping spirit is downloading because you're this cycle you're not the same person you were not even a month ago uh yeah the libra readings have definitely evolved changed what's the advice for libra in love what's the advice for libra in love Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And it's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself. It's like I said, the advice here. You need to get rid of some negative. Um, if I'm not saying uh, never talk to them again. Break up friendships. But if they're being excessively negative Libra you need to move away from that you attract love by enjoying this moment fully not by getting caught up in the negativity and the worry of others around you I hope that helped I hope you enjoyed it if it resonated grab the vibe hit the like let me know and I hope you join us Wednesdays or Sundays for the free card readings God bless you Libra and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.